Well, we told you yesterday about the sunken barge and planned restaurant, which is now up and floating in the river downtown. So what happens next? This afternoon, News Channel 9's John Madewell got an up-close look. John? Well, Kevin Calvin, we were about 50 feet away from the barge and saw the extent of the damage. Now, the project manager says the first priority is moving debris out of sight. Doubters. There were a lot of doubters. Honestly, I'm not going to lie, um, there was a point in time where I kind of doubted it myself. But over the weekend, the two barges floated up. Once again, pumping continued, and TVA slowed the spill gates upriver. Project manager Brock Sparks says that was a huge step and looks forward to September. The next step is to gut this thing out and make it as beautiful as possible for Chattanooga. Um, you know, because we're residents here, we know it is an eyesore. Sally Volgemeyer owns the Coldstone Creamery, which sits right across the river from the barge. She's relieved to see it up and floating. I definitely like it. I mean, it's any more attractions that can come downtown, it's better for everybody. But the Army Corps of Engineers says owner Alan Casey still has steps to take. Spokesman Lee Roberts says, quote, our regulatory division has not received any official notification of compliance from the barge owner, so it's premature to speculate at this point that compliance of the permit has been achieved. But Spark says you'll see a different look in coming weeks. Get in here and, and move all the debris on the docks, take down the awning, you know, there's graffiti on the windows, clean that up, uh, just make it look as presentable as possible. Spark says Casey has a $3 million budget and Plans remain for a steakhouse up top and a cafe down below. Now that this thing is raised, there's a, you know, a lot more fire underneath us, you know, and uh, kind of boosted our morale a little bit more than, than what we've been looking at previously. Now, Sparks went on to say that during the gutting process in September, they will obtain a dumpster barge for removal. Now, he wouldn't give a timeline for opening, but looks at next river bend as a possibility. Kim? John, thanks so much. We'll wait and see.